First demonstration, as you see, is a stockability option. If you do not select this checkbox, then many of the checkboxes will be disappeared and will be actually faded. It would be making no sense for you to do anything else with the rest of these checkboxes. So non-stockability and stockability is the first lesson you're learning. And I have additional demonstration coming up in the next session that teaches you exactly when you want to buy it or when you want to sell it, what would happen if it's stockable or not. Now, right there, we're going to talk about other stuff. As you see, when it's non-stockable, there are only three checkboxes enabled. And one is, should I accrue liability on the product receipt or not? Is a non-stockable product, but should I accrue liability when I get it? or not. If I don't, then I'm not going to accrue any liability when I get it. I only accrue liability when I receive an invoice, when I buy it. Then there is a receiving and deduction requirements that we're going to have a lot to talk later on, but very high level receiving requirements means that you do not accept a vendor invoice unless you received it. Therefore, there's a product receipt process that you're about to see in a few sessions from now. And then there's a deduction requirements. That means you cannot invoice the customer unless you have deducted it from your warehouse. As you can tell now, that's the reason I'm saying I'm not going to spend a lot of hours talking about all these checkboxes theoretically. You have to see it as part of a demonstration and it makes a lot more sense throughout my course of lecture. But as you notice, if I select this and make it stockable, then I have the capability to select many of these checkboxes, which I'm going to spend lots of time discussing them one by one.